So I appreciate all the support from the uh, Louis Armstrong reaction that we did. And if you guys haven't checked that out, man, I have that uh, in the pinned comment in the comment section below. So today we got Junior Walker and the All-Stars. What does it take to win your love? 1969. I'm, lo I'm loving the... I'm loving the time travel that we're doing right now on the channel. So let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, let me go back to the beginning. Play that saxophone. making me think about my grandfather bro <laughs> it's making me think about my grandfather i don't know why it's just a certain sound it just reminds me of that little jukebox he had in his bar in his garage and i wish i had a picture of his house this house was not big but it had a garage in it and he had a bar like if the bar was beautiful i wish i had pictures of it um but let's go. I'm sorry. I got carried. Take to win your love for me. Mm. I love this. I love this. Uh -uh, don't do that. No vocal stacking, straight back up and raw vocals. And these guys are singing over the music. I wonder, man, like the vocal development of a lot of singers back in that time period, like below the 70s, like their ability to shout and sing over the vocal. Like, so that got to take a lot of vocal power in the throat to be able to sing over that. You know what I mean? It reminds me kind of like a little Michael Jackson a little bit. Yeah, I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried in every way I could. Oh man, this is wonderful. You see how much I love you, how much I love you. Understood. So you gotta make me see what does it take to win your love from me. He kind of looked like Jonathan Majors from this view right here. <laughs> Mm. Hey, me won't dance like an old man in here. <laughs> that was wonderful shout out to the subscriber who suggested this one junior walker and the all-stars what does it take to win your love and this was 1969 but the setup seems like it was in the 50s so uh so a lot of that a lot of that soul music was really going out the door at this time like soul music wasn't the popular music anymore when you going into the 70s and you dealing with bob dylan the beatles uh who else um elvis is still on the back end still popular you know what i'm saying like this is on the cusp of all that you know what i mean but this music right here 
this just feels like my grandfather's music. My grandfather's music, man. I miss him a lot, man. It's been, uh, what, 22 years now since he passed. And anytime I hear, I don't know what to call this style of music, but I must, but it just, it feels like him. Like it feels like he's in the room. Because I just, I remember him playing a lot of this music, style of music. Not necessarily who, but I remember him playing this stuff when, when, I, when, I, when I was a kid. And I can, it just, it just takes me back to him, you know. But post your, comments in the, uh, post your comments down below. Let me know the first time you heard Junior Walker and the All-Stars in the comment section below. I love to hear you guys' stories. I read all the comments anyway. So I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace.